Welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the voice inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm the Explosive One, and we're playing Madden 21 against the other Cleveland team. Yeah. The Bengals. Yeah. Our we're going to make them pay, dude. Brothers from another city. Yes. Ohio dad. <laughs> Columbus. Sleazy. Cincinnati. Prostitute mom. Isn't Cincinnati? Columbus is not Cincinnati. <laughs> I would know. They're two different and complete cities. Yeah, they, yeah. They both starts with C's. So does Cleveland. Oh, oh my God! Just mind C, blown. Yeah, try C, dude. Just blow my mind. Speaking of blowing my mind, Jonas. Whoa! <laughs> Another snow game, dude. It's like four I mean, in a it's, row. It's Ohio. It's probably like in the midst of De of December. Yeah, yeah, or January. So yeah. yeah. Um. Uh, uh, just speaking of blowing my mind, Jonas. Okay. Like, why has there been no innovation to facial tissue? Like, like, why am I still blowing my nose in this arcane, just very visceral manner into a piece of cloth? What do you... I mean, it's not even really cloth. It's like stretched thin cotton or it's, something? It's cloth. It's, it's just woven fibers cloth. But, but what do you want it to do? I don't know. I feel like there should be a different way. Like it's going to blow it, blow you itself? Okay, so look. here. Here's here's my thing. Toilet paper, boom. You got toilet paper. You take that. You know, you take, you do your business. You turn around. You get you get, get the stuff out of there with the toilet paper. Innovation on that? Oh my gosh, there's a bidet now. It shoots hot jets of water right up your right up your crack hole, and you get all get all the poop out of there, and then you just dab it dry with the toilet paper. So okay. the toilet paper has kind of lost its even its uh its initial use and in, in like removing the detritus from your crack hole. And now you can like hook a bidet up to any toilet, I think. Exactly. They have like portable bidets. You don't even have a separate bidet. Don't think I haven't contemplated getting a bidet. Call up the bidet boys. I'm come in and put a bidet in your body for your booty. I think that there needs to be a different way to blow your nose. Innovate, Jonas. I want. I need you to brainstorm. There's a neti pot. What is, I'm sorry. Excuse me. You, uh, it's like a little teapot I'm type sorry. thing. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Wait, I'm not and putting it, a teapot up my nose. It's, uh, no, dude, and, like, it fits in your nostril, and you put water in it, and it goes through one side and comes out the other and drains all the snot out of your nose. This does not exist. L well, Google neti pot on your I'm phone. not Googling neti pot. The people at home can Google neti pot. Yeah, dude, it's a real thing. It's been long It for, fits in your nostril? It's like it's like a mini tea kettle that like the the the, the hole on the tip of the tea kettle is small enough that it fits in your nostril and you tip your head to the side and you put it in, it like runs water through your sinuses. So this is like if you're sick, I'm assuming. I you mean you can do it any day you want. <laughs> and it cleans out your nose, dude. So there, there's nostril bidets, is what you're telling me. Essentially, you. yeah. And I mean, it's just like those, they have those earwax remover things that are water, too. They, like, you blow water in your ear. So, like, instead of using, like, a Q-tip is... and potentially damaging your ear, you can rinse out the wax. All right. This this alleged neti pot, is it, like, is it, uh, is it like, electric or something? Uh, I don't know the logistics of it, but I do know they exist. Like, okay, it's like, I've heard of water picks and stuff, and I know those can be used. Oh, yeah, the water pick for the toothbrush. I know that like, can be used. Well, you know, I was wrong. I guess there has been some innovation. Though I've never heard like of a... anybody buying neti pots. Yeah, I think I think people only usually buy them when they have a serious problem. Mm. But you could, I mean, literally, you could use it to rinse out your, your nasal cavity every day if you wanted to. I mean, it's not dangerous. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Intervention on blowing my nose. Because, look, Jonas... I have a mustache. Not my mustache. Freaking prop. What's happened to you? How often do you blow your nose? Uh, not very often, but still, you know, it sucks when you get the freaking snot I on your, a, on I, your, I, your upper I lip. I keep my ears short, so like I don't get a lot of snot. I'm not, I'm not just like letting the boogers drip from my nose <laughs> into my uh, my lip baleen. All right, <laughs> I'm talking about when you blow your nose. And you have a mustache, you're gonna get boogers on your on your on your mustache. It's a pro it's a problem. It's, yeah, it's so you get food in your mustache. Exactly. You can't you can't help yourself. So I think that there needs to be like I don't know, a mustache guard, a lip guard. That's hot. Maybe like a maybe like a little mini nasal vacuum that just the mucus. They, yeah, they do. They do. They have her like babies and stuff, like oh, a yeah. like suction machine. That, that happened to me one time I was in the hospital. I was a uh, blew your nose onto your mustache. Yes, 
No, dude, I was a kid and I was in the hospital because I had pneumonia or something. And I woke up by them like sucking all the snot out of my nose with a machine. It was the most awful experience ever. Like they could have woke me up first. You had an obstructed airway. Yeah, for sure. I know. I mean, I knew why they did it, but like they couldn't woke me up and then did it. Yeah, I mean, they want to intubate you. I, I've been close to that myself where they were about to do intubation to me uh, because of like pneumonia. Very, very odd, too. But wait. So there was either that or they were going to tube me? Uh, yeah, man. When you're not waking up and you're unconscious and your O2 is dropping, yeah. It's either clear the airways or put a tube down your throat and make the airway patent. Oh, I guess work. I never realized it was that serious. Yeah, I didn't realize it was that serious either. I woke up and I started like. <laughs> Typical me, too. I wake up and I just, like, see a bunch of people standing over me, and I start fighting. Well, what, dude? I woke up. I was pissed, dude. I was yeah. a kid. I was mad. Yeah, I started swinging. So, essentially, what you're saying happened is, like, I wasn't breathing enough enough in my mouth, either. Yeah, your O2 stats were dropping. That's the only reason they'd intubate you, and the airways weren't patent, or you weren't utilizing them properly. So, they were going to put a machine in you to breathe for you. Oh, damn. I almost died as a kid. Oh, yeah. Happened to me, too. Funny enough, that actually happened to me. Uh, I don't know when this episode is coming out, but the guy that we had on the podcast on Sunday, the one that you you put out this week, uh, good I was, money. Yeah, I was at his. I was at his house, and then I remember I just like started feeling super sick, dude, and I actually like got the chills and everything. And then I came home, and I don't know, my mom had like come home from like going out with my dad on date night or whatever, and. And she was like, yeah, you weren't breathing. I was like, oh, facts. So I was like, I went to sleep in my bed with my dog at the foot of the bed. And I woke up in the hospital fighting doctors. Oh, so like, so like, yeah, by them sucking that snot out of my nose, they prevented me from being intubated, which is, what is, is always not good. Yeah, it, it's, intubation is definitely like one of the, the last steps that they want to take. So, oh. yeah, man, you, you must have been messed up, especially if you woke up to that happening because they took the steps to like try to wake you up prior to that and oh you just, so like it just all wasn't these happening. years i've been mad that i thought they did it while i was sleeping and like they did that because they I, they could not wake me up uh yeah probably man it's happened to me so i, I just know that, that that's like, the case. Man, that makes total sense like why they would do, i'm like why would they just do that yeah, they're not just gonna walk in your room and just start like spraying water up your nose that's just rude <laughs> <laughs> you just thought would. it was bad customer service no motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I was I was really sick, dude. That yeah, was uh, man, I think that I was during. Oh God, I want to say that was during the '88 Olympics because I remember ordering fish for my <laughs> for my dinner, and and I because I would always get fish at school and it would be like the fish sandwiches, and I remember being pissed because it was like baked fish and it was really bad and it was an ice skating was on the TV at the same time. Oh my God, my defense. Dude, we're going to lose in the playoffs. No, we got this. I'm going to have to do this. Yeah. It's only the, second quarter. We, they we just ran, they ran a pick six back right at the time that you told me that I almost died. And uh, and then then they just scored a F. Oh, there we go. Get out of my goddamn house. I'll do it to you. You just slipped again. I'll do it to you. Um, I know. Wow, I didn't realize I almost died as a kid. I knew I was always really hospital. Sick. Hospital fish is always bad. I mean, hospital food is generally always bad. Yeah. Hospital ice cream is like the lowest tier of ice cream you can get. Yeah. But they always try to make it feel like, oh, you eat all, you get your ice cream. Yeah. Right. And then you get like that little freaking cup with of ice spoon. cream with the pull-off cardboard lid. Yep, the wooden spoon. Oh, yeah, oh the wooden spoon. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like, that makes a lot of sense, dude. I used, to get, I used to have, like, I used to knew I was going to have to go in the hospital as a kid because I would, like, I would breathe and I'd get, like, this sharp jamming pain in my back, like, in my ribs. Mm. Yeah, and, they, and they'd be like, oh, yeah, you got death zone again. You're back in the hospital. And I'm like, oh, boy, another hospital trip. Luckily, I'm, I got rid of that. I used to get walking pneumonia so bad to the point where I would get exhausted from walking to the bathroom. And I would still go to work. Yeah. yeah I got bad. walking pneumonia a few times, like, since I lived every, in Texas. Every freaking year I would get that issue. I got it from uh, flying. The doctor, I was telling the doctor about it. It was like when I would like wait a lot more than I do now. And the doctor was like, if you're a large person and you fly, it can cause you to get walking pneumonia. Yeah, I could see that. And I was like, what? And he was like, 
Yeah. That's why you're getting walking pneumonia. The pressure causes the uh, fluid to not go from your lungs. Right. right. He's like, you already have enough pressure on your lungs from your weight. And then, yeah, it was a, it was an eye-opening experience for sure. He was kind of a D about it too. Uh, you know what, man? After working with doctors and actually talking to them about why there's such D heads about like people being fat. Um, it's because they know it's an issue and they know that it's easily solved by just like eating less and eating less and moving and exercising and they're like your life is on the line at this yeah point. and I get it too because it's like if, some, if the doctor was just like oh you could really use lose a couple pounds you're like oh whatever doctor the doctor's yeah. like an a-hole about it you're yeah like, why was he such a D about me needing to lose weight like what up yeah and, and and it's not even so much from a point of like judgment it's like look man you, you're literally killing yourself so i'm just gonna be real with you right i'm right. just gonna be real and i'm gonna be blunt because if i'm not real and blunt then you're not gonna take it seriously right exactly. they've gone through the whole idea of like uh being a good doctor and being like well you could really use no it ain't working so right leave. i've been telling you for months yeah i got look it. you're that fat and you're dying this. you're too fat fat dying <laughs> stop right. Right. Get your Put down together. the GD cheeseburger. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. I don't know. I used to, I worked with a doctor. He was always just like, yeah, this fat lady came. <laughs> I was like, Jesus, man. It was like, I keep telling this lady to lose some pounds. She just won't do it. And I'm like, eh. It's kind of delicious, bad for you food. It's, it's, it's really God, good. God, dude. Flags. It's really good. I would like eat all. I would eat tacos and burgers every day of my oh, life. Oh yeah, I would eat pizza and wings and stuff oh, every day. Geez, so good. Yeah. At, at, I have had fast food in like four months, and <laughs> do I miss it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, man. I think about I think about that that Wendy's uh, baconator. Oh, the baconator. Yeah, dude, it was good. Or a McMuffin, dude. I think about a McMuffin. <sighs> yeah, I have like uh, I have still I have definitely eaten out this year, but I've eaten out less times this time, five month, four month of the year than I have in any year probably, mm -hmm. like of my life. Like I've definitely really curbed it in, but no. definitely have still done it here and there. In the last in the last month. I've had one deep fried breaded chicken finger. <laughs> one. And that was when they were delivered to the house and almost forced on me. <laughs> it was just like, hey, I got you some chicken tenders. I was like, no. Yeah. And see, and that's I just the... wanted to see what they, they tasted like. And you know what? It wasn't worth it because it wasn't even it wasn't even that good. Yeah. It yeah. wasn't and worth that was, it. Uh, and that's like, and that's kind of the issue that I've always had is like, if I don't buy it uh, like uh -huh. like if i don't want to eat sorry i was trying to figure out what i was doing because we are losing in the playoffs <laughs> oh um, no jonas you gotta win yeah, um <clears throat> we can like if i don't uh if i don't buy the food i won't eat it you know what i mean so it's like that's kind of always been my solution of like if i don't buy the food i won't eat right it. like if i don't if i know that like if i have I doritos gotcha. in the house i eat all the doritos i just oh. don't buy doritos you oh. know if i don't want to eat 20 chicken wings, I won't buy chicken wings, you know? Yeah. But if somebody somebody else is like, hey, here's a pizza, have a couple slices if you want. I'm like, that, that is so hard for me to say no to. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's like, it's like, oh, free pizza? Right there, you're giving it, you're offering, you know, it's yeah. like. Like, all you really would have to do is just like put it in my mouth and move my chin up and down. And right, just, right. That's I, the only I, other thing you could do to make it easier. Right, and my ex-wife didn't understand that. She'd have all this junk food in the house, and she'd be like, why can't you just not eat it? And I'm like, it's a problem. I recognize it as a problem, and that's why I don't buy it. Doritos and chips and everything else all over the house, then I'd be fine. I will definitely say that ninety percent of the terrible food that I I was eating was uh was purchased by me. <laughs> yeah, I bought ninety percent of the. Bad and you were being food. very generous. You were getting me some baconators, dude, and I was just like, oh man, I should just eat these either whether I want or not. They're so good, dude. They're so good, dude. You definitely no, ate them. Waste. Not only did it would it waste your money, that awesome food wouldn't have been in my mouth, dude. I was like. They're right, they're right there, dude. Yeah, dude. I don't want to turn down food. I'm like, oh, dude, that's good. They're right there. 
Dude, I don't like what's happening right here. We can uh, we can zoom in here, man. We can definitely concentrate on the guy. Well, I don't want you to lose, man. You're going to make everybody sad. This is like real deal Holyfield. All right, so bottom of the ninth. We're in the fourth quarter. We're tied. Three minutes left on the clock. And a Ooh, I, I, hit. Saw I, it. I saw it. I saw and it. I saw it. I saw it. And it it. So we got three minutes. They can still score, and I can still go. They can still score. Oh, they, they didn't score. Okay, so, so we okay. get we get the ball back with honestly only like twenty. No, well, no, like no, a minute. It's almost two and a half minutes left. Yeah. So we got plenty of time. So I need. I can like like a minute off the clock. It down the field and kick a field goal. That's all you really need is that three points, baby. I'm grinding up the field, so we can go back to talking about good food. rock a bop baby. Yeah, dude, I, uh... Yeah, so it's, uh... Like, ah, F. Started going back to the gym and stuff, dude. I'm like, I'm like, well, I might as well at least try to eat better, too, because it'll do it'll do double the double the benefit. Might as well try to start eating better, yeah. I mean, I definitely have been eating better than I ever have over the last couple of years. I've definitely changed all my habits, but there's always room for improvement. You know, fresher ingredients, more veggies, yada, yada, all the stuff that I don't want to eat. Oh, God, dude, I wish I could get sacked more. You like sacks? Oh, dude, I can't wait to get sacks. I can uh, I can give you some sacks. <laughs> I don't want your sacks. Sacks Fifth Avenue. Dude, oh, yeah, no, that's dude, I don't the know if you're going to be able to do it, man. Yeah, the first one hit me, and then it took me so oh, long to recover. You got to go one. for dude. it. We only have a minute left on the clock, man. A minute and a half. Almost two minutes. This game is just jank. Why not? What did you do? I uh, don't know. What did you do? I don't know, but I'm going to pause it. Okay, we're back. Uh, have a little bit of time. Oh, the tension. All right, yeah. There's right. no lost intention, though. We're still down Ooh. by nothing. We're tied. tied. We're tied, but they're going to... Can the defense hold them? Can the D hold... Uh -oh. oh, the D oh. held them. Okay. okay. All right, good D. Let's we got see. we break. got good D. My goal is to break the tie. Good no F and S, dude. I mean, that's that's what you need to do. <laughs> we need to win. Yeah, um, the, the, the goal's like, hey, guess what? You all need right, to win. Right, and you're like, right. oh, thank oh, you. Oh, first down. And out of bounds. And yeah, I don't okay, know. Not out of bounds, but that's all right. I'm going to... No, I don't time it out. Just keep it moving. All right. Do we have any timeouts? I do have some timeouts. All right, we're going to need them. Oof. Nope, except for he's wide flipping open, dude. We not don't, one man on that man. Apparently, we don't need any timeouts. Ooh. <laughs> Never mind. Wow, I was not expecting that guy to be wide open. They just, like, <laughs> pretended he didn't exist. Oh, and they got 27 seconds. And, no, they our defense stopped them. So oh. We're down 21 to 7, dude. Came back and did it. Oh, oh, they couldn't score again, dude. They can't beat the Brownies. Nope. Cannot beat the Browns. The Duncan Hines triple fudge. <laughs> exactly. Chocolate chip teriyaki. Cookie rip, dude. Dang right. The marble cake Madden's brownies. Dude, peanut butter and chocolate brownies don't even at me. The best brownies on the planet. Yeah, those ones I made for my birthday last year with chocolate chip cookie dough and brownies together. Oh, those were good, too. <laughs> I was like, wow, those I need to do this good. more often. Those are pretty good. I'll probably do that again for my birthday. That's the only time of the, that's the, only time of the year that I will make homemade brownies and cookies, and that was phenomenal. They were good. Yeah, I was like, okay. Like the Betty Crocker freaking. Did you even have Duncan Hines? Does Duncan Hines I think still? still yeah, I think Betty Crocker does. Duncan Hines does. Yeah, Betty absolutely. Crocker is still. So, anyways, that is all time we have for today's episode. See you, mother effers, in the AFC Championship game. Big please, baby. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you like our content. For Jonas, TNT. we are out.